But first tonight's top story, the search is over for a missing Tuscaloosa man in the Gulf of Mexico. 54-year-old Billy Legrone was spear fishing with friends about 40 miles off the coast of Orange Beach when he disappeared into the water. The Coast Guard has ended efforts to find Legrone. WVUA reporter Daniel Sparkman spoke with his son and a longtime friend and has their reaction tonight. Friends say Billy Legrone was an avid spear fisherman for the past 20 years. That's one of the reasons it was a shock for them to hear Billy Legrone had gone missing. Legrone's son, Kirk, says it was the family's decision for the Coast Guard to suspend the search on Saturday. They asked us if they wanted to continue, and we said, they said, we said no, we wanted him to you know, stay at sea, you know, where he loved to be, where he always loved to be. Longtime friend and South Trust Bank co-worker Bev Lee says he will always remember the good times he and Legrone had together. Yeah, Billy and I were friends socially as well as through the bank. Uh, we entertained a lot together. We hunted and fished together. Um, it's, it's just been a long, fun friendship. It's a sad day for Tuscaloosa here uh, at the prospect of losing someone uh, that talented. Monday, Legrone's family went out 40 miles in the Gulf to the spot where Legrone was last seen. They had a private memorial to say their goodbyes. Legrone's son remembers his dad as a great role model and friend. It's just hard to see him go. He had a, he had a great influence in my life. He was the most determined person I've ever met, the most motivated person I've ever met. And he'd always push through anything. He was never scared of anything. And that's the way he lived his life, and that's the way that he wanted to live his life. It's great to see that he died doing what he loved to do. And um, he's always he's going to always going to live in our hearts, and our family's always going to be here with us. The U.S. Coast Guard will continue to investigate the cause of the incident. In Tuscaloosa, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News. Memorial services are being planned for Tuscaloosa and for Legrone's new home of Fairhope.